Scholastic Audio presents Dragon Masters, Book 19, Wave of the Sea Dragon, by Tracy West, read by Emily Ellett. The calm ocean water began to move. Waves kicked up and slammed against the shore. A huge dragon head rose from the water. Tani looked at them with enormous green eyes. Red, orange, and yellow fins grew out of the sides of her head. Wow, Opeli exclaimed. Tani is such a beautiful dragon. Tani's body came out of the water. Orange and red scales covered her back. Her belly was smooth and white. Drake gasped. The sea dragon was at least twice as big as worm, shoe, or caw. Manawa turned to his sister. Panya, go to the village and tell everyone about our visitors, he said. I will find out more about this evil wizard Drake told us about. Yes, Manawa. Panya ran off. Manawa's ahi stone glowed. Tani would like to get a better look at your baby dragons, he said. Drake smiled, shaking his head. Our dragons aren't babies. They are just smaller than Tawny. This is my earth dragon, Worm. And this is my water dragon, Shu, Bo said. Shu floated through the air up to Tawny. The sea dragon playfully squirted water through her nose at Shu, who then dipped her tail into the sea and splashed some water at Tawny. I think they like each other, Bo said, smiling. Then Opeli and Ka walked toward the water. This is my lava dragon, Ka. We come from an island, too. Tani's huge tail began to thrash back and forth in the waves. Droplets rained on Drake and the others. Shu swiftly floated back to Bo. Ka roared, and an orange light began to glow deep inside him. What's happening? Drake asked. Opeli placed a hand on her dragon. What's wrong, Ka? Her ahi stone began to glow. Ka remembers stories that his grandmother told him, she said. Many, many years ago, there was a big fight between lava dragons and sea dragons. It happened when they both lived together on the islands of Noah. Tani says the same thing, Manawa said, his stone glowing as well. The fight between the dragons lasted for many years. Finally, the sea dragons agreed to leave Noah. Today, they live in oceans all over the world, but they have never forgiven the lava dragons for making them leave the islands of Noah. Uh-oh, Drake said. The last thing we need right now is a fight between dragons. Opeli patted Ka's leg. That was a long time ago. Can you and Tani find peace here today? We need to help Drake. Ka's orange glow began to fade. That was a very nice way to calm him down, Bo said, and Opeli smiled. Manawa turned to Tawny. You calm down too, Tawny. We must hear what our visitors have to say. The sea dragon stopped thrashing. Manawa, we need your help, Drake said. Like I said before, an evil wizard named Astrid is trying to cast a dangerous spell. We will need three dragons to break the spell. One of them is a sea dragon. We'd like you and Tawny to come with us to the kingdom of Bracken where we live, Bo said. Just for a little while. Manawa frowned. I don't know, he said. I'm not. Suddenly, a big swirling portal of red light appeared on the beach. <laughs> 